My name is Natalia. I'm living in Turkey, in Alanya city, for eight years with my husband. We are renting the place. This is a three bedrooms flat with three bedrooms and one big separate kitchen, two big balconies. One bedroom I use as a storage room. Because we are renting this place, we haven't done much renovation. The only things we did, refreshed the walls. When we moved into the flat, it was completely empty except kitchen cabinets. That's why uh, we brought all our furniture together and some of our furniture was made by us. If you look in the kitchen on the shelves, you will see a lot of decoration. Most of them I brought from my homeland, which I'm very happy and proud about it. I like everything about this flat, especially separate kitchen. The only disadvantage of it, it's very narrow and long. I wish it could be wider. Another inconvenient space is the entrance hall. As you see, it's not possible to install any furniture for storage. Our favorite places in the flat are kitchen and balcony. Most of the time in the winter we spent in the kitchen and in the summer on the balcony. Because summer lasts in Alanya about eight months during the year, you can consider balcony as another room. Balcony is another favorite place for us. We use this space for relaxation and resting, but also for meeting with friends and family. Every Turkish family treats this space as a special space. That's why uh, we call it uh, the soul of the house. This is the biggest room uh, in the flat, uh, living room. And this room has uh, some of the antique furniture, which has been refurbished and renovated by my husband. Also, uh, he has his own uh, furniture work workshop where he does reupholstery. Main things in this room, this dresser, this sideboard and the box. They are from latest 50s last century and very good conditions and that's why we are very happy to use them. As you see, there are a lot of mismatching objects. For example, like this beautiful Turkish antique lamp, uh, some antique heads, Russian dolls. And if you look on the walls, all of them are decorated with my mother's embroidery. Also, I brought a very uh, special tea set, which belonged to my mother. It's about 55 years old and remind me my uh, hometown. Table and uh, chair sets also were very old and we refurbished and renovated with my husband together. If you look at these two armchairs, they also have been renovated with me and my husband, but this chair has very special history. It's about 90 years old and when we found it in workshop, it was so old and you could see that um, springs and stuffings were sticking out. But if you look now at it, it's in very beautiful and nice condition. My biggest passion is to collect handmade napkins and tablecloths, which I use all the time when I serve the table. If you look in this room, to complete the style, I only need to change the sofa, which we are planning to do this summer. This is our bedroom, and everything here are made by ourselves except the base of the bed. If you look, the headboard of the bed made it by my husband. These side tables are made by me. Actually, I used old bar stools and IKEA boxes. I painted and decorated myself. And as you see, you can pull these boxes in and out and keep all kinds of stuff inside. All small decorations are handmade candle holders, small houses, 
and some little other things. Ceramic plate with a face of Ataturk, which is a present for my husband, are ba made by me. Makrame is a work of my friend and pillowcases embroidered with my mother hands. And also I'm planning to uh, macrame the chandelier. My husband made this dressing table from the base of the old sewing machine. You can see that countertop is solid wood with a chest of drawers which you can pull in and out. And a poof is an old chair. This is our guest room and the warmest room in the whole flat. This chair is my favorite piece of work. I made it myself. If you look closer, you will see that it's a mix of patchwork and my mother's embroidery. Also, I use this room as my workshop whenever I don't have guests. And I do a lot of work sitting on this table. I also have a studio, art studio in Alanya. And if you look on the shelves, you will see a lot of dolls which made by me and my students. I love learning new things about making dolls. And I use this knowledge in my art studio with my students. If you look, these dolls I prepare for my next workshop. You can see the small, tiny faces which I prepare for some dolls. This is our bathroom. And because we are renting this place, we decided not to spend a lot of money on it. The only things we did in it was installing the shower cabin. My home is an extension of me. After all, a man's house is his castle. That's why it should be cozy and beautiful for living a better and happy life. My advice, don't wait don't waste your time waiting until you own your perfect home. Start investing to make your environment beautiful now.